What's up, guys? It's Matt from American Patriot News. And right next to me is Romeo. And today we got some news out of Georgia. The DA did not have a good day. And it looks like she has decided, they have decided to separate the uh, trials when it comes to the people that want to have their speedy trial. It's going to happen on 23rd at Sydney Powell and uh, Cashboro uh, that's going to be doing that. And the rest of them are going to be later on, which will be in, I believe, March is what they're planning on. And let's just say this is a big win for Donald Trump and for the, guy, uh, for the guys that didn't want the speedy trial. Yeah, this is no surprise that they weren't able to try 18 people at once. Yeah, but, well, you know, let's go ahead and watch this video and we'll, and we'll talk about that after this. In a Georgia election interference case against former President Trump and 18 others, the judge has severed the cases of two of those defendants who will now be tried separately from the former president and the rest of the group. Prosecutors say they'll also hand over the names of 30 unindicted co-conspirators to defense counsel for all 19 co-defendants. I want to bring in ABC News editorial producer John Santucci and ABC News legal contributor Brian Buckmeyer for more. John, as you were watching, you were saying this is not a good day for the Fulton County DA. Bad. I mean, Fannie Willis wasn't there, but you got to imagine, Diane, she's throwing things against the wall based on this hearing. So let's start where you just began. So first, the team for the federal pro the prosecutors down there had been arguing, keep everybody together, keep all 19, because really what we learned today, we're going to have a show this fall, and then we're going to have a repeat performance next spring, which makes it incredibly difficult for prosecutors. A great win for Donald Trump and others that did not want to be part of this speedy trial case. I can tell you, sitting here with you, just texting with some of the attorneys involved in the other defendants, celebrating. Yay, victory. This is everything they wanted, was to take more time and slow this down. So That's what do you think? And you, yeah. know why, you know why I think they're happy? Because they get to see a preview of what they're going to, of what the, uh, the exactly. DA is going to do. The, the DA is going to show her cards. Yep. All of her, you know, evidence. Now they, they'll give over discovery and that'll be, you know, potentially millions and millions of documents, but it, it won't help the prosecution at all in any way. No, this is it terrible. actually hurts them. It actually yeah. hurts them. Oh, for sure. For sure. Because, the other lawyers can game their case based off of what's happened in Sidney Powell. And I don't forget the other name of the defendant who wants to be tried with a speedy trial. I'm interested to know why Sidney Powell wants a, a speedy trial. Uh, Ken Cashborough is the other one. Uh, they want a speedy trial because that's what they asked for. Uh, I think they, I think this is actually their plan. They want this uh, the fact is these two people that want the speed trial they're lawyers yeah so, that's what i'm getting at it, they see this as a tactical advantage that the prosecutor is nowhere near ready to present their case and for the prosecution it's a, a, a minefield um yeah. if they put the wrong things in the other cases will you know they could die on the vine and not only that, they got to pick two different juries. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's going into this. And they, that's the reason they wanted to have all 19 together and not have them separated. And now they got two different trials they have to go on. And that also determines if some of these other guys decide, hey, we want to have an earlier trial. <laughs> Who knows? That's right. That's right. It, this is all bad for the, the uh, prosecution and great for the defense. Yep. And I, it's great news for Donald Trump. Well, he's due some. Yeah. You know, I, I think he goes from rally to rally and he gets so much love from the American people that it's keeping him going. But he needed a win. I'm yeah. glad to see him get it. Especially in the courts. But uh, guys, this is the end of the video. We really appreciate it. Hit the like button, comment, and share this out to everybody. We really appreciate it. We'll be live tomorrow morning at 930 Central Standard Time. Please join us. Have a wonderful rest of your day.